For most of human history, humanity has been inventing tools to enhance their own reach of their surroundings. Fire increased warmth, clothes sustained that warmth, and spears allowed humans to have the upper hand on their prey. Up until recently, these tools have assisted humanity, and now we are seeing some of these tools replace the old norms. Perhaps the most famous example is how the car has replaced the horse-drawn carriage, placing many horses out of jobs. Could the same happen to humans? Could our tools one day replace us? The truth is, is that this is already happening. The machines have explored more land than humans have in all of history, taking the jobs of space probes, surveying distant worlds we can only see through their eyes. They have surveyed the deepest ocean floors and the pits of the most toxic volcanic caverns. As our tools become smart, they are also becoming automated, taking a kind of life of their own. So extreme is the degree of automation in some countries that one company in China Foxconn has announced that all their factories will be automated. Foxconn recently laid off 60,000 workers, replacing them with automated machines. Many have replaced repetitive tasks in other fields as well, such as car factories, cashier jobs, and even many telemarketers are becoming virtual. In a recent report by McKinsey and Company, up to 60% of all jobs could have 30% of their tasks automated with current technology. Tesla and Google have both demonstrated self-driving car technology is almost ready for the mainstream adoption, and fleets of self-driving trucks are being deployed onto European roads. What all these different reports and developments are patching together is the stitching for a larger picture. Every job will have the potential to be automated to some degree within the next century. With technologies like deep learning enabling artificial intelligence to become smarter, very few jobs will be left untouched. When most jobs go to the way of the machines, we'll be facing the largest unemployment crisis in human history if steps are not taken to avoid it. Creating frameworks for ideas such as universal basic income and ensuring that wealth does not become concentrated to a small elite group in society are vital for avoiding a dystopian result. Universal basic income, or UBI for short, is the idea that everyone in society should be paid a basic income, no matter the age, employment status, or anything else. While some small trials are being proposed around the world, the idea is largely untested. A whole video on this topic will be suitable to explain it in depth, but it should be noted that UBI is not a solution overall to the problem, but more of a temporary booster to the public. The problem would still remain. What do humans do when work is truly scarce and most are unemployed? The McKinsey and Company report stated that the jobs least likely to be automated were education, nursing, and other jobs that involve managing and working with others. This is because it is much harder to replicate human-to-human -human interaction through automation. Humans still, and likely always will, enjoy human contact. Ultimately, when most jobs are automated, only those where humans are wanted over machines will remain. A human therapist may be more comforting to a patient. A piece of art created by a human could be more sought after than one created by a machine, no matter how much more complex or beautiful. Taking the utopian route, many have claimed that humans will create art, play games, and reap the benefits of a machine world. While this may be true, once we hand our world over to the machines, however, what will our role in society be? What contribution will we have? In order to adapt to a changing jobs market, the entire system of education will need to be revised. A report from the Foundation for Young Australians noted that 60% of all students in education were studying for degrees and jobs that could be automated within 10 years. It was suggested that to best adapt, having skills that are transferable will shape the next generation. Teaching the next generation skills such as digital and financial literacy, problem solving and creativity may be even more highly valued in the future than today. Looking further into the future, once this transition is complete and taking an entirely speculative route, it may be that once most repetitive jobs are taken over, humans will choose to upgrade themselves both cognitively and physically and work alongside the machines in the jobs of their choice. In this sense, work would not be done in the same manner as it is today, but rather at a choice. Since all work can be done by machines, humans performing any kind of labour would be to give them and society a larger purpose. Just as exploring beyond our solar system is not seen as necessary, we would do so out of purpose, to ourselves and to humanity as a whole. The traditional concept of a job is about to change forever. Whether we are ready or not, automation is coming and unemployment is going to become a reality for many. Depending on how we react, this may or may not work out in our favour. 
What do you think about the growing challenge of automation? Will we adapt in time? Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and thanks for watching.